Hi, my name's Lisa, Lisa Newport, and I work with Colour and Clothes to help boost your confidence. And one of the things I get asked about a lot is how do I know what colours suit me? So this short video is a whistle stop tour on how to self assess. So if you aren't quite ready to book in for an online or face to face colour analysis with me, then here are some tips on how to figure out what suits you best. So when people come for a colour analysis reading with me, either online or face to face, I look at three things and that involves looking at your undertone of your skin, the depth of your um, value contrast and uh, the clarity in your features. So what do I mean by those things? So the first one is about the undertone. So whether you've got warm or cool undertones to your skin and that basically is the biggest factor when we're looking at what colours suit you. So um, just as an example here I've got some warm and cool colours to show you and you can just see if I put these up by my face you can see that with the cool colours which are these ones there's sort of more harmony with my natural colouring whereas with these ones the warm colours there's a real harsh line there's like a real dividing line between these colours and my hair, my eyes and my skin. So that suggests to me that I've got cool colouring. They're more, much more harmonious for me. So the other way you can tell is by actually physically holding up different colours to see which makes you look, which make you look best. Um, the thing with colour analysis, it's all about what goes on here in your, what's called your portrait area and what's being reflected up, the colours that are being reflected up. If you ever did that thing when you were a kid where you put a little buttercup under your chin you say oh yeah you like butter that's essentially what is happening so it's about what goes on here so the other way you can tell about your skin undertones um, is to look on the back of your wrist here um, and to see what color your veins are now for some people it's really really obvious for other people it's much harder to tell but if your veins look green that suggests that you've got warm undertones and the reason for that is because obviously you've got a yellow cast to your skin and that is over the red blood um and that so so that is um making that sort of greeny greeny color appear if you've got pinker skin tones like i have then your veins will appear blue and that suggests you've got cool undertones so the next thing we look at is is your depth your tonal value your contrast level so that is basically whether you overall are very very light very very dark or somewhere in between so if you think about going from if you had to paint and you started with white and then you had to get to black you'd sort of go to all the different grey areas you'd, you'd sort of add a tiny bit of black at a time and you'd get say 10 steps to get from white to black that is what I'm talking about when I talk about value contrast so it's about how dark and light you are comparing your skin your hair and your eyes and how much difference there is between those levels what's your darkest level and what's your lightest level so when I had darker hair, when my hair was naturally darker, my contrast levels were much higher. As I've got greyer hair, and as we age, we all lose pigment um, and with our with our skin. As my hair's gone greyer, I've softened. My contrast levels have softened. So the colours that suited me when I had darker hair are not quite as good for me now. So if you, the easy way to do this and to test whether colours are right for you or not is to take a photo of yourself and then change it to grayscale on your camera and you'll be able to see if there's harmony then between your hair and your eyes and your skin and what you're wearing. So I'll just give you an example just to show you here. So with this range of colours you can see that they're much lighter than my overall look. Um, you notice the colour before you notice my face and then if I do it with the darker colours you see here, these are too dark. You notice again, you notice the colour before my face. So if I took a picture of my, me now and then turned it into grayscale, this fabric would be the dominant darkest bit. If I did it with these colours, then these lighter fabrics would be the dark, the lightest bit and they would be too light for me. So it's about getting colours just right so if you notice the top that I'm wearing now it's a similar level of depth as my hair 
and my eyes and my skin so that's that's another tip for you but there is obviously there's a spectrum there's you we, we're looking at white at one end black at the other and then somewhere in between and, and most people are sort of in that middle bit and then we look at your clarity so the clarity is whether you've got very very clear defined features or whether you're more soft um, and have um, sort of less dominant in your features so I've got quite high levels of clarity still because my eyes are quite sort of um, deep and quite bright so in terms of if you think of Snow White at one end I can't think of another fairy tale character uh, friends if we look at friends the program friends you look at Monica at one end very very clear very obvious dark contrasty features and then you look at Rachel who's much softer much more muted there's less definition between her hair and her eyes and her skin so she's much softer and that's what we're looking at so we're looking at your levels of clarity we take all those three things together and that will determine which sort of wh where you fall on the colour analysis spectrum and which type of colours suit you best so it's best to mimic your natural features what's going on with you naturally and where this comes awry is if you color your hair uh, and you color it much darker than your natural color or you have it much lighter than your natural color then that can skew things slightly also if you color your hair with warm um, a warm color when you've got cool undertones and vice versa it's more common for people to have warm undertones add warmth to the hair when they've got cool undertones than it is the other way around um so just just be careful with that because even if you've paid and had your colors done and then you change your hair color and you go for a warm hair color and your palette was done when you've got cool undertones and cool hair then things won't look quite so good and it will kind of sort of like you're wasting your money really so they're just things for you to think about but again with everything there's a spectrum and as a general guide you may have remembered doing something like this when you were at school with the colour wheel but if you're not sure what warm or cool colours are if you think about fire um, and then we've got all the reds and the oranges and the yellows and fire is hot and then if you think about the cool colours if you think about ice and a, a cold sea um, then you've got the blues and forest foresty sort of dark forest all those sort of colours here are generally cool so if you're not sure stick with the warm half or the cool half um, the other thing is to um, teal is a good color I'm wearing teal today teal is a good sort of universal color it suits most people and that is because it's kind of equidistant between the warm and the cool it sort of sits here the bluey green color it sort of sits halfway between the warm and the cool the sort of equal amounts of warm and cool colors mixed together so if you have your colors analyzed you have a reading then you will get a palette like this you get a swatch um, like a paint chart almost um, but these are all sort of like the, the best colors for you and it will have your tints tones and shades that are going to be your absolute best ones to wear so hope that's helped and that's given you some sort of clarity around how to assess yourself if you're not sure um, then obviously I do online readings that's absolutely something that is my specialist area if you're interested in finding out more want to read some of my blogs find out a little bit more about my um, color analysis stuff then please check my website which is lisanewportstyle.com or find me on social media lisanewportstyle.com where i publish um, lots of things on a daily basis about colours, how to wear colours, colour combinations and provide generally lots of hints and tips around colour, clothes, cosmetics, all with an aim to um, boosting your confidence. So click on the link below and um, if you've got any questions or anything then drop them in the comments. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.